Managing patients on a ventilator is crucial because it ensures proper oxygenation and ventilation, prevents complications like ventilator-induced lung injury, and helps to wean patients off the ventilator safely. Inappropriate settings can lead to barrel trauma, hypoxemia, or hypercapnia, which could worsen a patient's condition. For the TMC exam, understanding ventilator management is essential as respiratory therapists must demonstrate knowledge of adjusting settings, recognizing alarms, and manage patient ventilator interactions. Which is why in this video, we will be breaking down a sample practice question on this very topic. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A 45 year old male who is six feet tall and weighs 187 pounds is receiving volume controlled assist controlled ventilation following emergency thoracic surgery. His initial ventilator settings are as follows. FIL2 of 40%, mandatory rate of 14 breaths per minute, total rate of 14 breaths per minute, tidal volume of 510 milliliters, inspiratory time of 1.2 seconds, and a peep of eight. Several hours later, the high pressure alarm on the ventilator is triggered. The patient appears agitated with the following clinical signs. A heart rate of 125 beats per minute, respiratory rate of 30 breaths per minute, blood pressure of 165 over 95, and an oxygen saturation of 91%. The patient's breath sounds are clear but diminished in the lower lung fields. Taking everything into consideration, which of the following interventions would you recommend? A. Administer an antihypertensive medication. B. Increase the tidal volume to 700 milliliters. C. Change the ventilator mode to SIMV. Or D. Administer an IV sedative or analgesic. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. The patient's elevated heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure along with agitation and a triggered high pressure alarm suggests that he is likely experiencing pain, anxiety, or discomfort. These are just a few clues that you should have noticed throughout the question. These findings are common in post-operative patients who are mechanically ventilated, particularly after major procedures like thoracic surgery. Pain and agitation can increase muscle tension, resulting in high airway pressures and poor patient ventilator synchrony. The best approach in this scenario is to administer an IV sedative or analgesic. This will help alleviate the patient's pain and anxiety, which should decrease the agitation, improve ventilator synchrony, and resolve the high pressure alarms. The patient's elevated blood pressure is likely secondary to pain or agitation, not a primary hypertensive issue, which means that treating the underlying discomfort should resolve the high blood pressure. Increasing the tidal volume would raise the patient's peak inspiratory pressure, which would worsen the issue instead of solving it. And changing the ventilator mode won't address the root cause of the patient's agitation. In fact, it could increase the patient's work of breathing and exacerbate his discomfort. So the key takeaway is this. In mechanically ventilated patients, sudden agitation, tachycardia, and increased respiratory effort are often signs of pain, anxiety, or inadequate sedation, especially after surgery. Addressing these symptoms with appropriate sedation or analgesia should always be considered before making changes to the ventilator settings. So taking everything into consideration, this means that the correct answer has to be D. Administer an IV sedative or analgesic. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test page. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple sample TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more, including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. 
And you can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly in your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn the required topics for earning a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.